This is Doug Barnberg and welcome back to another set of tips and tricks. And today we're going to talk about a product that is really neat. It's called Contour Leap and you get it through Lake Master. What it is is a PC based application to allow us to look at our lake maps on the computer. But there's one really cool thing about Contour Leap. It's more than just a mapping program that you can look at the computer. It's a search tool. It's a pre-planning tool. It is the ultimate tool, in my opinion, to help you look at new lakes, look at your own lake, check out the contours, let's look for new fishing hot spots that we can use in conjunction with our Humminbird with our Lake Master maps in it. The same map data that it is in Contour Elite is on our Lake Master card that we were using in our Humminbird unit. So we can create waypoints on it, transfer them to our unit, so we've got fishing hotspots out there, but it's got some really, really cool features, unlike the others that are out there on the market, that allow you to search for fish by species. We're going to search by contours. We're just going to go in and look in depth at what all the neat things that Contour Elite offers. So let's get started. Let's get into some of the neat features of the Contour Elite program. We're going to click on the shortcut here on the computer. We're going to agree. What we're going to do is I want to look at Palm de Terre Lake here in Hickory County in Missouri. So I'm going to open that lake. And while it's refreshing here, Contour Elite is more than just a map reading product. It's a total trip planning tool. Uh, we see the whole lake popped up here. We'll just go through. We've got our drag tool, which allows us to drag the map. This tool here zooms it back to full size, which we're already at full size. We can zoom in. Every time we hit that, it keeps zooming in on the map. We can use the hand tool then to move around the map. Uh, the zoom out tool. Then we have a zoom into area. First, I'm going to show you we can go back to full lake view by just hitting that button. If I wanted to zoom into an area, we'll go down here and look at this river channel. Hold your left mouse button and create the box around it and you can zoom in. If you want to zoom in more, you can create another box. And you can see all of our great Lake Master contours that we've known for superior accuracy and excellent detail uh, are popping up on our map. It is Lake Master Maps in the Contour Elite product. So it's the same thing you're using uh, in your fish, your hummingbird fish finder just on your computer. We want to go back to the lake, zoom out, we can hit our full screen. If you have a uh, GPS waypoint, somebody give you a waypoint that you can plug it in here and it will go in right directly into it. The next item is our target tool which we'll get into a little bit more later. It allows you to draw target areas, waypoints, that type of stuff that you can actually export to your unit. We'll close that out here. You can create a fishing log. You can, you can enter your fishing information, when you caught them, where you caught them. Um, you can import entries from your GPS. You can export waypoints. The next tool is our GPS real-time tracking. If You could actually hook this up and, and have it uh, playing in your boat uh, using your GPS. A measurement tool. If you want to measure, we can we can hit here we're going to measure distance all the way down here in a straight line like a crow flies you can see is 47,284 feet neat little tool we'll get into that a little bit more later how it's useful you can print the map to so you can take it with you and then there's a 3d tool on our left hand side is where we have our fish search and our custom search those are search tools that allow us to look around the lake and find fishing hotspots. Let's just try a fish search. Um, we're heading down to Palmy tomorrow. It's winter time in Missouri. We're going to go chase us some largemouth bass. We're going to hit the time of the year. We're going to hit winter. We're going to go. We're going to sleep in tomorrow. It's going to take us a little time to get down there, so we're not going to get down until midday. If you notice that, it turned the optional weather patterns on or off uh, for this. For this search criteria, we do not use the weather patterns in that. 
So we hit execute search. And if you watch the map here, you'll see new red areas pop up. Plus the first thing we're going to see is a pop-up box that gives us tips on how to go catch some fish tomorrow. So it helps us pre-plan what lures we need to take, what kind of things we need to be looking for, and what kind of baits we need to use. So you can print those tips or we can close them out. But you look around the map and we see a lot of red areas uh, of places we want to check out. We're just going to go over here uh, and use one of our zoom tools up here. We're going to use that box. We'll go up here and zoom in and look around and see all those great areas that it's telling us would be good fishing spots in the winter period uh, for the conditions that we, we targeted in there. We'll just go try a new search. Uh, this lake actually has muskie in it. We're going to go hit it in the fall. Uh, we're going to go hit it at dawn or dusk. And we're going to execute that search. You can add or replace the data. Since it's a different species, I'm going to replace it so we don't get confused with it. But you see that it changed. It tells the low light conditions, uh, gives you our fishing tips, and it gives us areas to go target muskie on this lake. Uh, we can use our hand tool. We can pan around. See these nice dropped off points here. Uh, that's just a way to use it. The red X here, you can clear the identified areas. You can use this bar to zoom in and out. If you want to zoom in, zoom out uh, on the map, you can do that. Or we can click back here to go zoom full length. The next one is one that is really, really neat to me, is a custom search feature. I want to look for certain types of structure, and that's what mapping is so good, and where Lake Master excels is uh, having precision mapping that uh, gives you some excellent, excellent tools. We're going to look at, you can look by lake region, structure, depth, slopes, aspect. You can do sun exposure. You can do proximities. But one of the neat things is there's a quick search feature. We can go up here, hit a quick search. We're going to look for drop-offs. And that's all we need to do is hit that, execute the search. It's going to generate and search everywhere there's drop-offs on the lake. And you can see we've got a tremendous amount of them that showed up here. Uh, we'll use our zoom to area. I found this is a really, really useful tool to quickly get in to the area. But hey, look, check out that drop off out there. That's some offshore structure. That might have taken you years to find that. There's actually another one on the other side. And look at that. It's a very precise, precise spot over there. Um, we can go back into our custom search. Uh, we're going to look for points and humps, and we're going to limit it to the spot on spot, and we're going to execute that same search. We're going to replace that data and see, oh, look at that, it limited. Now we want to look for the sweet spots. We got boom, boom. We could go in here to our target tool, which might as well let's go in there and do that. We're going to, you can draw a new target area, you can do a new target spot. We're going to do a spot. We're going to set one right there on that nice red spot down there. You could add a comment if you wanted to. We don't need a comment. So you can see T1 is set up there. We're going to set our another one up here on that spot. We're going to no comment on that. So we've got T1 and T2 are target areas. Uh, if I want to open that target tool, it's going to tell me T1 is a spot. It's going to give me the longitude and latitude, the depths of them. Uh, the type of slope, we got a very slope, very sharp slope with a west aspect. Uh, we got a moderate slope with a south aspect. Uh, so if we were like in the winter, if we were looking for sun exposure, uh, wind, wind would be a very good key to, to know aspect. Okay, if the wind's blowing in, blowing in from the west, we want a west aspect thing because that could help us activate those fish on that. It tells us a ledge point, a sharp point. Gives us a little bit more information about those areas. You don't. Ha you can set a target on anything. Say I wanted to to, to draw a new spot. We're going to go out here and we're going to um, let's just go set it on. We'll go find us a point over here. This point here. These two had stuff on there. We're going to put no comment, but we see T3 showed up here. We'll go. Uh, Open that target tool. 
that's going to tell us a little bit about the spot we selected. Our waypoint locations, our depths, moderate, it's a point. It's pattern matching around here. Telling us that stuff. We could export those targets now to our GPS with our SD card. Excellent tool to, to match up to your Lake Master map that's in your unit with your Lake Master map that's built into Contour Elite. You could use this with other brand maps, but uh, you're not going to get the same level of detail between the Lake Master card and the Lake Master that's in the Contour Elite program. But it's, it's beneficial to anybody. You could put your waypoints in here and see how far they're off. Uh, you can draw a target area. Say we want to say we want to look at this little point here. And we set us our line. We come down here and we just build us a box around it. And we double click the last time. Uh, I don't need a comment. It shades it in. Uh, you can open the, the target tool and it's CT4 is an area versus a spot and it's giving us uh, longitude latitude of that T4 which is going to kind of be the center of that spot. That's some neat things about target areas that you, that you can set up uh, to help you pick spots out on the at home on the computer and and go go back to fishing. If we want to zoom the, the lake back out, but probably one of the neatest tools uh, of Contour Elite is we can we can go in here and we're going to go in and we're going to zoom into an area and look around in it. We're just going to pick this nice uh, structure right over here. And one of the things, we've got a 3D button. This 3D tool, what it does is brings your maps to life, like the lay of the land. Uh, you can look at how contours are. It's take, taking a little bit to load up, but uh, once it does it, uh, we'll get into it. Okay, our 3D viewer is, is popping up now with our information. You can see on the right hand side we've got our map view and it's showing the area that we're looking at. We can zoom in if we want to zoom in to that area. We're going to look at that point there. Look at this hump. We got a hump over here. We got this nice river channel. Uh, you, can, you can increase the depth. You can multiply the depths so you can get exaggeration. Uh, if you want it exactly how it lays, you can set the multiplier to, to one, and that's going to show you in real life. Um, I like this five level because it really helps exaggerate it a little bit, but it doesn't get real crazy on it. But it shows these breaks, and we can see that the hole here where it's coming into this creek. We can see the depth here. Now, one of the things you can do as you can actually spin it around, we're going to go look. Use our cursor. You can use your mouse to roll in there. We're going to look at that hump there. See how you can see that? Isn't that neat? And as we move that around, look at that over there on the bluff. We've got a nice little ditch running in there. Uh, this goes back out to our our maximum level there but this is a neat little tool to help you learn more about those structure spots the other thing is is we have two other tools we can do a quick zoom to the bottom left we can quick zoom to the upper left down to the bottom right of the map top right of the map you can jump around on this real quick we've also got we can zoom to identified areas We've identified those areas. We can go zoom back into them. Uh, it's an excellent, excellent tool uh, that's more than just a, just a map viewing software. It's a total trip planning software. Wow, what'd you think of that? Contour Elite, man. That is an excellent tool for your computer, your laptop, to, to go and look at the lake before you actually even get there. I mean, you can find some sweet spots with that thing. Check out Contour Elite. They have a version for you uh, that's going to match the exact same detail that your Lake Master maps have for your Humminbird units. They've also got some other great products like wall art, paper maps, laminated maps. Uh, 
If you need mapping, Lake Master is the answer for you. Check out their products online at lakemap.com. And I appreciate you tuning in to another set of tips and tricks. And I hope you check back next time for more information on how to get the most out of your investments. Thank you and tune in next time.